a family, a department, an organization, a government, a ministry, a country, and you want to start the journey of creating a paradigm shift, a change in the mindset, in the mentality, in the way of thinking of people around you, so that this new thinking can translate into a new behavior that will create a new reality that is better, you need to go the following process. You need to articulate in a very strong and convincing way the logical reasons why you want people around you to change their thinking. And you need to communicate that clearly to them so that they are convinced on a rational and emotional level of the soundness of what you're asking them to do. You also need to become you yourself or the team around you who wants to lead this paradigm change as the embodiment of what you're asking your people to go through. You have to become an example, a model of the kind of behavior, of reality that you're asking them to create, the change that you're asking them to do. So you become an expression of that change. It is like you're telling them, look at me and do what I'm doing. Become what I have become. You need to develop the process of trust that has to be created between you and your people. And this happens after they watch you over a consistent period of time that you've actually expressing yourself as an expression, as a metaphor, as the true evidence of what you're asking them to do. You're the first to have done it. And you show that in your behavior and in your language. When you do that, they start trusting you. And this is the third step. The first step was making compelling argument. The second step was becoming the change that you ask them to be. The third step is to cultivate and encourage the trusting relationship between you and them. To help them trust you through watching you consistently. The fourth step is your people starting to change their behavior. And this happens after they've trusted you and they've seen the evidence of what you're trying to do, what you're trying to get them to do themselves. So they change their attitude from being skeptical with question mark into people who have started to believe in you and in what you're saying. After the change of attitude, they will look into themselves and ask themselves if they really can do that. Because change of attitude is not enough. Okay, I believe you and I really want to do that. But can I do it? This is where their faith and confidence in the capacity, in their own ability to change to do this mindset, to do this transformation, to do this paradigm shift happens. When they have confirmation that they can actually do that, then you have prepared them, they have prepared themselves actually to going into the next step. And that is to actually change. That is to change on the ground, to become the change that you've asked them to do. So after they've developed enough confidence and faith in themselves that they have what it takes to change, now they will go into the process of change itself. Now is the time where they will start actually changing their mind, changing their mindset, going through this paradigm shift into a new way of looking at life, at reality at their business, at their environment, at the way they are behaving. Once this change of behavior has started, 
then confidence in their ability will increase and the momentum of change will become faster because they're seeing that it is possible and that this change is giving them the fruits that they have been expecting based on your promises based on the arguments that you've made and after they've developed enough confidence and actually transformed and changed their mindset changed their behavior changed their paradigm you will need to create the necessary structures the necessary policies procedures and laws and and traditions and protocols so that this becomes part of their day-to-day -day reality this becomes the new law of reality the new constitution and as they do that over time then you can rest assured that whatever you've tried to do in terms of paradigm shift in terms of shift in mindset now is solid and now you can build on that into your you know with your future plans the good thing about all of this is that when all of this is done the people who you have been trying to convince to go through this paradigm shift will become ambassadors of change themselves and they will take this experience this process and spread it around them so it will start to snowball and people around you will become change agents catalysts of change in their own mini environment and as you do that with your encouragement with your support with your continued leadership by example then the purpose that you had in mind will be fulfilled the vision that you had in mind will be realized and the new much better reality that has been driving your acts of leadership will now become the new reality and people will, st will start enjoying the benefits and that's what leadership is all about. Mm -hmm.